Hey guys! My name is Tila Poste and it is time for an unboxing. Now I have a really good spicy unboxing for you today. So if you've been around my channel, you'll probably know that I quite like to read uh, manga and webcomics. One of them being a really popular boys love one called 19 Days. And the artist, I believe it's pronounced Old Chan. I could be wrong, it's old. This symbol, whatever this is. I, th I think it's pronounced Chan, but I could be wrong. So a really long time ago, they came out with an art book, so I believe they're part of like a little um, web comics, webtoons type studio, um, and they came out with this art book, just filled with art of their characters from the 19 Days series and also from other series that they've done, and I coveted this so much. I see it in the backgrounds of people's videos, I've seen people unbox them, I've never actually seen anything other than the front cover. Um, I have like a, a vague idea of what's inside, uh, but I have coveted one of these for quite a while. I quite like art books and I quite like especially art books that have a little bit to do with the whole yaoi slash boys love genre. So as I mentioned before, 19 Days is a BL, which is just short for boys love. So if you haven't read it, um, 19 Days is basically just sort of a cute coming of age type uh, slightly romantic story between, well it was between two boys but now there's like two sets of boys so there's four boys now which is like great it's just double the cuteness because it's, it's very cute and it's also very funny. I don't think I'd enjoy it as much as I do if it weren't as, as amusing as it is. So back when I did my 20 styles, like 20 anime styles challenge, um, one of the ones that I did was actually um, a replica of Old Shan's artwork, so I, I drew my own character in the style of 19 days. So it's safe to say, I quite like this series and I would like some merchandise. <laughs> So recently, uh, it was announced, and I'm very glad that I found out because I had no idea at first, um, but it was announced that um, there was going to be a second art book. That's right, a second one. So Yabich decided that this is something that I need um, because I didn't have the first one. So I went out and bought that, but not just that. Um, I found, very luckily, um, because the, the first art book tends to resell for a very inflated price, um, but I happened to find it for quite a reasonable price. So, I have a second unboxing. So if you've never seen either of the art books, you know, sit your little ass down and we are going to go through this, it's going to be great, and I'm just going to unbox some beautiful books of beautiful sexy boys for you and we're all going to have a really good time. Oh my god, why is there so much packaging? I feel like I'm playing past the freaking parcel. Okay, you ready for this? Okay, so this is the first book. So the artwork on the front is basically gorgeous. And art book number two, oh hell yeah. So this one is art book number two, the new one. I just love all the symbolism and the colors and like the little tiny detailed design choices that went into making these covers. So with this one I do, um, I get the poster and um, I think there's, there's multiple posters. It depended on like how many sold, but I'm pretty sure that like we, we hit all the goals, so I think we get all the rewards. Um, it's like, it's not a hardback, it's kind of like a semi-hardback. <laughs> no, that's, that's maybe not the best way to describe this. Um, it is not a hardback, but it's not, um, it's, it's like a, a thicker card rather than just like paper. So we do also get this um, little plastic card from uh, Mossapaka Studios. Two very well known and much beloved prints of the two like main couples from the story. And a cute little printed like comic. I don't know if this is exclusive. It is in Chinese so I can't read it but it's, it's two sided so it has one little exchange on the front and then another on the back. So this first one I picked up from eBay, um, I'm pretty sure it was eBay, it could have been Amazon, um, but obviously I I can't really link to the sale because um, 
it's, it's, it's gone, I own it. Um, but the price I paid will be like either on screen or somewhere in the description probably. It was second hand so this price can just vary wildly. The second one, the new one, um, I had to order through Taobao. Um, so because this is a Chinese sale, there weren't many options for international shipping so I wasn't able to get this shipped directly from the store to me here in the UK. Um, so I went through Taobao. I've used Taobao a couple times before. They're not the cheapest service but they are probably the most well known. So to be fair to Taobao, uh, they will send you um, photographs of the item when it arrives with them so you can confirm that you've been sent the right thing um, before they like forward it onto you and that it's in good condition etc. So um, they'll repack it as well. It's, it's definitely not the cheapest shipping, um, I'll be honest. But I mean if you want to get something to you that otherwise would have no means of getting to you, um, you gotta pick. <laughs> you gotta pick your sender. So um, I just went with Taobao because I've used them before. I use them for my big uh, Ginoza Dakimakura that you always see in the background of my videos. So I mean, if they can send me a six foot pillow, uh, they, they can send me a book. <laughs> so this is the first one, and it comes with this little slip on the front, uh, which I'll just remove for now so that you can actually just see the artwork. And I believe this cover can be removed as well. So you've actually got the um, original like sketch layer underneath, which I really, really like. Um, as someone who does digital art, this is like really nice to see. So there's also like a little message on the front here, but again, I can't read this because I don't speak Chinese, unfortunately. So as you can see here, it says Old Chan Art Collection. And these are just some of the beautiful pictures that you'll get in this. This is like a two-page spread. I really love these ones. A lot of these are like the really well-known um, artworks that are already pretty popular online. I don't intend to show them all, but this is just like a quick flip-through of the sort of things that you can expect to find in this book. Aha! And in the middle we actually have, there's like a little bookmark or slip and also a poster. So I won't show this one, um, you've already seen this one on another page, it's the one where they're eating pizza and ice cream. Again, I just think Ulchon's artwork is beautiful, it's just like, if you just look at the detail, and I love the way that they use whites and blank spaces as well, it's just, I'm not like a particularly talented artist, I don't know a lot about artwork, um, but I know what I like and I think this looks like really fantastic. So again they have like some more colourful things, some more stylized things in here. I actually really like just some of the sketchier looking artwork, so the ones that are like slightly less refined. And then at the end here I guess you get like um, a little peek maybe into the process or some sort of personal message. Again I don't read this but I'm sure it's probably been translated somewhere online. And then like an index. So that was the first one. And now onto the second one. So this one is the new one that just came out. And it does have a slip, but this one is at the bottom, so I'll just take that off. And on the back here we have our poster, which is a little bit too big to fit entirely on screen right now. Um, but it is just of the four main boys. And I actually really like the design of this book cover a lot more. As much as I like really love the red colours of the first one, um, I think it just shows a lot like how much further the artist has come. I like the fact that they've actually got like some um, raised lettering on this book. And like I think it must be very satisfying for an artist to be able to produce a second book to show like just how much you've improved. And I feel like the quality of this one is much nicer as well. I think it just shows that their work is getting more popular and they can afford to have better quality products for showcasing their artwork which is just it's really cool. So the underside of this one, um, it's not a sketch layer, it is just a plain book, but I kind of like that it's it's yellow. I wasn't expecting it to be yellow. <laughs> I do like the little heart motif though that's like mirrored on the front here. Oh my god, these books are so hard to open the first time. <laughs> so it starts off with some pretty minimalist drawings. And a different thing is as well, the first book, the pages were very um, kind of glossy, they felt much glossier. These pages are very soft and matte feeling. So this is just a little example of some of the artworks that you can find in here. Yeah, so you've got like a page for each of the four main characters here. And then more of the artwork. I'm pretty sure this is going to be popular with some people. Again, a lot of these are already available to view online. I know that a lot of these have been released online, um, so it's not like you're missing out if you can't necessarily get hold of the book. You know, a lot of the more popular artworks are already out there. I remember this one coming out online quite a while ago. 
here we go and then here's some more of the freebies so really like the aesthetic of these ones in particular because it really appeals to like the sort of uh, edgy goth side in me like this was totally my fashion sense when I was like 15, 16 another little cute one there and there's Mo and Hetty on there. I think this is my favourite um, of, of the three, mainly just because I really freaking love this sort of alt musician aesthetic. I'm very here for this particular one, <laughs> and I get to see it in all its beautiful full-size glory. So again, these are just a couple of the artworks you can find in here. I'm not going to show them all, obviously. If you want to see them all, you can either find them probably on Olshian's website or just um, if you get the book. Chibis! But yeah, I just kind of wanted to give like a little showcase without actually, like, like look at this. This is like really, really stunning artwork. And this is the cover fully represented here. I love the pigeon. I really love the pigeon. I used to have a pet pigeon, fun fact. So yeah, this is just like some of the artwork that you can expect to find in here. I don't want to show it all, obviously I feel like if you want to see it all um, you can purchase the product, but man look at some of these. And then again, same as before, and there's a little postscript at the end here which I unfortunately can't read but I'm sure it will be translated in no time somewhere on the internet. And this is the back cover for this book which actually has some uh, like cute little design on it and it has a list of all the different fandoms, I suppose, um, all the sort of like IPs that you can find here. And yeah, that was book two. So hopefully that gave you guys a little bit of an idea of the kind of artwork that you can find in both of these books. Obviously, if you want to see more, if you want to see like the whole collection, you'll have to purchase them because, as I say, most of them can be found just for free, uploaded by Old Chan um, on their website and you know if you don't have the money to buy the physical collections then you can still look at all the pictures in all their beautiful 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 boy glory <laughs> on the website. So that was it uh, from my little miniature Old Chan haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't managed to get your hands on either of these they might still be available. You know I managed to get the first one um, quite a while after it came out so there is always hope for you yet if you decide that you do really want to add these to your collection. So hopefully I'm going to try and get these displayed somewhere. I don't know if I'm maybe going to try and rearrange my bookshelf at some point so that I can have these books displayed somewhere. I keep thinking that I need to get shelves put in but that's a whole nother mess that I don't want to talk about. So you may see these uh, possibly in the backgrounds or just the peripheries of my videos as time goes on. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to go read through them, admire some lovely, lovely artwork and possibly catch up on the uh, little web series because I've not been keeping up with it recently. I've been far too busy. So um, I'm going to treat myself and I'm going to catch up on some adorable boys. Let me know down in the comments below uh, if you have read anything by Old Chan before, if you own any of these, did you buy the new one? Um, maybe let me know what your favourite boy is um, and why, because I'd be interested to know. So that has been everything from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing down below, click the little button and become a mage like me. So that's it from me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!